I have something to tell you guys. Down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down. Yeah. Let's go to the roof. No friends of mine. No friends of mine around. Yeah. Now I'm thinking now. Now I'm thinking now. Why the cottage blows? <sighs> well, I quit my job. Yep, I quit my job. And for the past month, I've been living self-employed. And let me tell you that it's fucking scary. Uh -huh. I'm just a lonely fucking you Now when I drive around don't feel it up Why it's getting colder when the sun comes out Now if you didn't know for the majority of 2021 I was working for another YouTuber named Jose Zuniga as a videographer and editor and trust me when I say it was a dope ass experience Now as great as that experience was and I was able to learn and grow not only as a filmmaker but as a director, a producer, an editor There's so much value and knowledge I learned through that experience that I wanted to apply it to my own projects and endeavors so I made the decision to leave the company in November of last year Now, was it the smartest thing for me to have left a salary job where I knew I was gonna be able to afford rent, pay for groceries, and live here in New York City? Probably not. Was I pretty much terrified when I told my mom I was thinking about quitting? After freaking Luli. And was it scary not knowing if I was gonna succeed? Hell freaking yeah. Now the question is, what's next? I'll tell you, but let's get out of here. All right, so I'm actually meeting a buddy in Times Square for lunch, but later tonight, I've got a super dope date planned with Becca, so I need to do a little bit of an outfit change. Hey. Hey. Much better. Also, I'm not just saying this, but the end of this yeah. vlog is probably gonna be super dope, Making so I definitely recommend sticking around. They've been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I can't just be with you and only you. Yeah, I got one virtual, got one in that day is the only two, man. How many times have I shown and proved, man? How many nights I've been woke, swerving the potholes, not trying to fuck up the wheels on the road, okay? Funny how life goes, he thought he was sick, now we wiping his nose, okay? Soon as you give him your soul, you blow up and they say you're selling your soul, okay? They want my life exposed, they want to know about the highs and lows. Well, summer all I did was rest, okay? And New Year's all I did was stretch, okay? And Valentine's Day I had sex, okay? We'll see what's about to happen next. So, what's next? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. A, if being a YouTuber and an influencer is something I'm really interested in and passionate about, or B, if my passions lie elsewhere and this channel will always just be kind of a side project. Hey, buddy. I'm so sorry. Hi, right, no, you're good. Hey, buddy. Hey. Yeah, he's really friendly. Aww, Little boy, so say hi. Give him some love. Hey. You ruined the shot, nice. so you might as well give him some kisses. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Man. But rather than looking back in 10 years thinking, ah, oh, damn, maybe I should have given it a shot, I'm putting both feet first and diving straight in. Or however the saying goes. Oh, a long time to see. Oh, <laughs> How are you? How are you? Yeah. Another thing I love about the city is you just never know who you're gonna run into. You gotta be kidding me. No freaking way. Oh my god, this just ruined my whole day. The Mavericks are trading our second best player, Christoph Porzingis, to Washington. You gotta be kidding me right now. But as I was saying before, we're doing YouTube full time. Harder than I've ever grinded before, I'm gonna be pumping out some crazy content for you guys and really having a more pronounced focus on the storytelling and cinematic aspects to make every single video feel like its own movie. I've slowly been realizing this is kind of where my journey has led me to, to document my life here in New York City and the things I love about this place. So I'm listening to what you guys want and we're gonna be doing these longer vlogs. We're done with the sit and talk, fashion, lifestyle, photography videos and we're gonna be implementing it into the vlog. And this is a big redirection the channel is headed to. So I'm a little bit nervous. I'm scared to see what's gonna happen but like I said I've been taking the feedback from you guys over the past couple of videos and really fine-tuning it and really implementing it into my future videos
this mad world <laughs> made me crazy Might just yeah, turn around to 180 I ain't politic and I ain't kissing no baby It's the devil on Mike, that's not to say I can do this alone You guys have been my support, my motivation Every single time I'm uploading these videos And it's hard to keep it going Especially when you're not seeing as much growth as you'd like to be So I'm asking you guys to continue supporting this journey Whether it's through watching this video Dropping a comment Sending me a message on Instagram Just know that I appreciate every single one of you And that I'm out here continuing to work And continuing to improve my videos so that you guys as a family all feel part of this journey but i finally met up with chandler and let's go get some lunch chick-fil-a chick-fil-a you wanted to be spider-man how about batman oh no 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 robert pattinson can can have it all man <laughs> he's gonna be too good as batman i'm telling you now also spider-man you can swing like look you don't want to swing through all this but i i can read between the lines i want to Run from everything, but my legs won't work. It's clear to me. Alright, so as we were ordering our meals, I was literally talking to Chandler. If he uses any nicknames while he orders, I'm literally getting the order, and he's like, Nick. I'm like, I got it, and then he's like, Chandelier. <laughs> oh. Eh. Alright, both me and Chandler being from Texas obviously means we've got a deep love for Chick Fil A. I think it runs in our blood. Literally. Oh my god. Bro, the weather was just so nice today, I had to get outside. Like, See, if we go to the river, we'll get the sun, I think. Because I think these clouds will go away. That's why it's called sun joy. Because the sun gives you joy. Well, I've never heard of sun joy. That's what this is called. You literally ordered the sun joy. I ordered an Arnold Palmer. Yeah, but they call it sun joy. It's written on the fucking menu, bro. What is it? Still, I breathe aside. Doesn't seem so lucky now, but maybe I can figure out why So we walked all the way to the all right so we walked all the way over to the west side of the highway just to get away from all the city noises or sorry you're blocking the sun thank you so we came out here just to get away from all the sounds in the city it can get really hectic and just overwhelming at times to be in the city but getting out here near the water damn look at this oh shit. as you drop your seriously bro i just fucked that up big time got God too damn. excited about the sunset seriously this looks crazy I'm trying to get them in my shot Like, I got too excited about the birds. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I also got too excited about the sunset and just filled my matcha. Ah, I lost my train of thought. But to be honest, this video has long been overdue. It's been something I've been putting off for quite some time just because I didn't know how to make it real for myself that this is a full-time thing, that I'm making this a commitment, and that if I don't succeed in this, then I'm not, I'm literally not going to be able to afford rent. And I think putting everything on the line like that, it's risky, for sure. And like I said, I didn't want to look back in 10 years and think, damn, what if I had just gone a little bit harder, put in just a little bit more effort to see if I could make this happen. So I'm making that commitment. It's exciting. It's exciting. I'm motivated. I'm pumped as hell. I'm eager to get out there. Literally all day today, I've been walking around the city with my camera backpack and having like four lenses so that I could get these creative shots and not limit myself. But shit, I mean, cheers. Fuck it, let's do it. And cheers to you guys. So we're gonna enjoy the sunset out here for a little bit. And then later on, I've got a date with Beck. So see you guys later. If I had a treat, I'd give it to you. Can you guess where we're going? I really don't know.
it's not the same as when I was Punched in the old days, there was enough The card games and ease with the bitter soul of blood